Hi, my new video is about air crashes. How can we survive an air crash? Most people believe that there is no chance to survive from an air crash. In fact, 60% of plane crashes have survivors. Let's see how can we survive an air crash. An Airbus A321 is landing on a stormy day. The aircraft skips off the runway. RH engine catches fire. The evacuation of the aircraft is ordered and slides are opened. Passengers can be seen sliding down using the slides. This is another 320 aircraft which developed an emergency situation. It cannot continue. It has to ditch. Ditching is the controlled emergency landing of an aircraft on water. The aeroplane could ditch successfully. Airbus has a ditching button which if pressed closes all the openings beneath the aircraft. After deployment, the slides can be converted into a life raft. Passengers are sitting on the life raft and moving away from the aircraft safely. Evacuation of all the passengers and the crew are completed and the plane is going down now. When I fly, I used to look for the safest seat. Is there any safest seat on an aeroplane? FAA says that there is no seat on an aeroplane that is safer than any other. But the statistics disagree. According to a study by Times in 2015, about the accident happened before 35 years. The seats in the back third of the aeroplane had a fatality rate of 32%, 39% in the middle and 38% in forward. So the back seats has an advantage. If narrowed down in further, the middle seats in the back of the aircraft has better chance of survival. Aisle seats in the middle of the aircraft are the worst, with the 44% fatality rate. How to survive an air crash? All crashes are unique, but by doing some simple things, you can increase your chance of surviving an air crash. Various studies have shown that sitting within 5 rows of an exit can increase your chance of survival. Select a seat within 5 rows in the back third of the aeroplane. In the 5 rows, Middle seats are the safest. Experts recommend wearing tight fitting clothing covering the full body. It can protect your body from sharp objects and fire. Loose and synthetic clothing should be avoided. Wear comfortable shoes that will not fall off your feet and can protect your feet from sharp edges of aeroplane debris during evacuation. Never use high heels and pointed shoes. It can puncture the slide draft during evacuation. Pay attention to the pre-flight safety briefings by the cabin crew. Various studies have shown that only few people have watched it fully. An aircraft safety card is placed in the front of every seat. It is a document instructing passengers of an aircraft about the procedures for dealing with the various emergency conditions that might arise during the flight. All passengers including frequent flyers are expected to read it. People who survived a crash had a plan. Think about the unthinkable. They knew where they are going to go. As soon as you board the plane, look for the nearest exit. In a crash, the cabin lights will be normally off and the only lights available will be the floor emergency lights showing the exit. These lights are operated by its own batteries. Bracing for impact Bracing for impact is an action whereby an individual pre-positions their body against whatever surface they are most likely to strike during impact, thereby reducing the injuries. During a plane crash, the body flies forward due to the impact forces. The lap seatbelt holds back the lower part of the body. The upper torso and the head moves forward and creates lots of velocity and can strike objects. Most of the impact injuries are head related. This is a scene inside the cabin. 
the crash happens without warning or the passenger ignores the brace for impact instruction. Loads of cabin interior fittings, panels and even bags from the overhead bins are flying around. If the occupant did not brace due to any reasons, he can get seriously injured by the flying objects. His head and the upper torso moves forward violently and hits the seats in the front. This can lead to skull fracture, brain damage, neck injury, spinal cord injury and fractured limbs. In case of a planned emergency landing, the passengers are instructed for bracing for impact. The occupant should bend forward over his snug seat belt. He moves the head forward so that it would contact the front seat backside. Then his both hands are placed over his head to prevent head injuries from flying objects. In 1979, Downeast Airlines Flight 46, a twin otter, met with an accident without any warnings. The sole survivor of the crash was a 16-year-old boy who recalled waking up seeing trees through the window and adopting a brace position. Evacuation You have only 90 seconds before the effect of fire and smoke becomes a serious threat to the survivor. Hence the plane should be evacuated within 90 seconds. A Boeing 777-300 RX engine caught fire during landing. All occupants should be evacuated within 90 seconds. Otherwise the fire and smoke will endanger the life of many passengers. This is the situation inside the same aeroplane. Everyone is busy in retrieving their carry-on baggages. Thus blocking the aisle for a speedy evacuation. It seems that the cabin crew failed to convey the dangerous situation prevailing. Luckily, all the 300 people on board survived the accident. If the fire was on the LH side, due to the wind direction, the smoke could have entered through the open doors and endangered the life of many occupants. This Boeing 767 was accelerating for takeoff and the aircraft's RH engine suffered an uncontained failure and led to a severe fire. It can be seen that some of the evacuated passengers are carrying their carry-on baggages. In the event of an emergency, leave your baggage on the plane. This is a video of a cabin evacuation training. This efficiency from the cabin crew is required to prevent passengers from retrieving their carry-on baggages, thus blocking the aisle and an orderly evacuation.
Infants are carried horizontally or vertically during evacuation. Infant carrier holds the dummy horizontally and sits on the slide to board. This method can slow down the evacuation. Both the infant carriers jumps into the slide. This method is ideal as the speed of evacuation is maintained. Passengers escape the crash should move away from the site immediately. Next time when you fly consider my tips you can reach your destination safely.